trying to grow my hair out, so you guys gonna have to bear through the awkward phases. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Naoya, and thank you for coming to today's video. Um, I had to take a break last week, just didn't feel in it. Um, plus I didn't have any good ideas of what to film, but this week I am back and I have my spring outfits with the clothes I've made and it's more of like a trying on experimentation than like an outfit guide. Uh, some of them are pretty decent, some of them I'm like eh. I think I can still work on these outfits, but I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and trying out different looks and especially colors too. That is something I'm trying myself, uh, trying myself, fucking English, um, trying to work on on top of different cuts of clothing and trying out different silhouettes. So hope you enjoy it and Maybe you can give me some tips if you have any or if this has sparked an idea for you That is amazing. So let's get into the first outfit uh, What the fuck did I wear for the first outfit? Um, so for the first outfit I've worn my DIY chap trousers um, where it's basically split into two and has a strap that connects the bottom half of the leg to the upper portion of the of the trousers. Uh, it's super high waisted, and I styled this with uh, just a simple white tank top underneath. And I've also threw on my thrifted trench coat in this kind of like a faded olive army green. Um, I think this is just a classic color for the spring. And then I finished off the outfit with. Uh, my Andy uh, heeled combat boots. Um, it's kind of going for that a little bit of a military, but also has a bit of a flow to the outfit. Um, and I tried to kind of style it in a way where the A line um, proportion is exaggerated. Um, so, the, especially the trench coat is super oversized. Um, but I think it drapes nicely. And then there's more weight to the bottom with how the trouser fits and how it puddles around the, around the boots. Um, I actually quite like this outfit. And then, oh, and I also threw on a bandana around the waist as almost like a cummerbund, um, just to kind of break up the, the top and the bottom um, and also adding a bit of a visual interest to the outfit. So for the second outfit, I wore my painted jeans. Um, it's not much of a, I guess it is still a DIY. I didn't really make the jeans, but I painted it, um, based it on, um, on a Gucci jeans that ASAP Rocky wore. Um, I thought it was dope, so I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let me just go get some fabric paint and go to town with it. And I think it came out pretty good. I really like this pants and it's a, definitely a go-to for spring summer for me. And um, so I paired it up with the Gucci shirt I was wearing last, not last week, two weeks ago on the video. Um, just kind of going with the whole, I guess the maximalism, uh, going all out with the floral patterns and prints and graphic. I think it came out great. The colors, I think, go nicely together. It's quite a simple outfit. And then on the feet, I chose to wear my my classic Tabby boots with the heel. Um, I think it sit, the the jeans fits nicely and sits nicely on the on the Tabby. And this is just kind of like an easygoing outfit, um, just to chill around and maybe go to parks if if Toronto fucking ever comes out of a lockdown. And now moving on to the third outfit. What did I wear? Third outfit was my. Oh yeah, third outfit was the was the button up. Um, kind of went 
to my go-to looks of SLP aesthetic. So the button-up is uh, is my original. I shouldn't say original because most of my shits are basically just dupes of different designer stuff. So this was inspired by Hyder Ackerman's button-up shirt. Uh, it's kind of like a dusty gold and dark, almost not a black, but like a dark gold almost. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, dark gold, I guess. Um, Button-up shirt. Uh, it's nice and cropped, quite boxy and with an extended sleeve. So I wore that with uh, just a simple black tank top underneath and then my Elix trousers. Um, and then on the feet, my beloved Saint Laurent Wyatt's. Um, this is more of like, a, I guess like a safe outfit for me. Uh, just like something very easy for me to wear. Um, but it has, Unique details, I guess, with the uh, with with the elite trousers. The fly is um, asymmetrical. It's not like a regular fly, which I quite like. And you know, depending on if I'm walking or if there's some wind blowing, you can see the belt buckle. And then uh, the shirt. It's one of the first successful projects I did um, with the making clothing making clothing and um, it's one of my favorites that I have in my in my wardrobe that I've kept um, I've made quite a few that I've just kind of tossed it out or just buried deep within my within my storage section of my apartment um, so this one's a this one's a, a hit for me yeah and then just the outfit it's simple it's nice um, more of a safe zone for me. Now for the last outfit, and this is a jacket that I was working on for almost four or five months maybe, maybe half a year. Um, this was supposed to be my dupe slash poor man version of the Hyderachim and Velvet Bomber. Um, but after I started working on it, I think it was around when I was cutting out the pattern, I bought the actual Velvet Bomber from Hyder uh, when he did that collab and so now I have like a two similar fitting bomber but I'm not getting getting rid of either of those um, I've put too much work on the jacket I made so so I wear that with again just a simple white tank top um, it just fits nice and I like wearing the tank top just as an underlayer uh, it gives a different neckline to like a regular crew neck uh, t-shirt. I'm actually wearing it right now too. Um, you can see the two of my shoulder chain, chains sitting nicely around my collarbone and you can show that off with the tank top with a slightly lower neckline. And then I paired this up with my thrifted super wide flared trouser um i don't know how i feel about the outfit i think it looks decent but i'm also not sure if the colors go well together um it's definitely different and i'm playing around with it um so this one's a uh, more of that that on that experimental side or just kind of like trying outside for me um again this is not a guy this is just me trying things on and playing around with some shit and <laughs> showing it to you guys because just goes hey, it's fun right um and then for the shoes i wore uh, my story at fall uh chelsea boots um it's very much a 70s vibe if you just cut the top off and look at the bottoms um yeah just slim boots that gets pretty much covered by the trouser um, but yeah I feel like there's something I can do or maybe just throw on a different top um, that would probably look good too um, but yeah that was the the final outfit thank you all so much for getting to the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope 
me just fucking around with some outfits for the spring uh, has sparked some ideas or inspired you to try new ways of wearing what you have in your closet. Um, it's fun just kind of trying around, trying out and seeing what works and what doesn't. So I highly encourage you to give it a shot if you have some time on the weekends. And um, yeah, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And also hit that subscribe button if you want to see some content from me, whether it's good or shitty or just enjoyable, entertaining. I don't know, whatever, what give you. Uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button and leave some comments below of what you thought of some of these my some of my outfits today. And if you want to see my outfits that I put more thought in, slash that I think looks better than just experimenting, um, follow my Instagram at the corner right here at N-A-O-Y-A-T-A-K and I will see you in the next video. Peace.